What is up everyone, Gaming Dad here, and today I'm going to do something a little different. Um, usually I'm streaming on Twitch uh, during the week or I'm producing videos like tech reviews, uh, but today I thought I'd do something a little bit different and actually provide a little bit of a service of how to install RAM into a gaming laptop. Uh, more specifically, this gaming laptop, the MSI GF63 Thin 95C or 9SC, depending on how you look at it. Um, now, if you go on YouTube, you'll probably find one similar video if you go looking and searching through pages, but there is nothing else because for some reason, even though this is a popular laptop, people don't seem to post the videos of how to upgrade it or if you can upgrade it. And it was over, it was just basically me being nosy and opening this bad boy up that I even realized that you could upgrade it. Um, you know, you can have a, an internal hard drive and then you can upgrade the RAM and obviously you can change the SSD card. Uh, but we're just going to do RAM for this video and I will show you another upgrade that I did uh, probably a couple of weeks ago, a couple of months, which is the internal hard drive. Uh, I'm not going to change the SSD, I don't feel need. <clears throat> but this is what we're going to be installing. Uh, the Crucial 32GB kit, uh, DDR4 RAM, uh, Ballistics, so it's like a gaming RAM, uh, should be pretty decent. Oh, that's upside down. So I'm hoping it's pretty decent. There's the little details on the back, for those of you who want to know. Origin, Mexico, no way. Uh, and there we go. So that is what we're installing. So currently I have eight gigabytes. Um, the reason I'm going to 32, some people may think it's a bit overkill, is I do the streaming and the gaming. Uh, and when I'm on games, say like Apex, it is its minimal requirement is having eight gigabytes. And if I'm playing Warzone on Call of Duty, that's eight gigabytes and it's only gonna exceed. So if I'm trying to stream on that, it's just gonna struggle. So yes, I could go up to 16, but I thought, Games are just getting so advanced nowadays and probably next year or the year after, you know, 16 gigabytes may not be enough. So you might need more. So thought, while I've got the money, I might as well got 32. And at least I know this laptop is all sound. Uh, so yeah, uh, so let's flip it over and let's have a look at the back. <coughs> nice and light, this laptop. So here we have the back. Uh, this is, I've opened it before, obviously, to do the previous installment, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, this is the factory seal. Now, there's a bit of a uh, two sides to this, two sides of the coin in terms of warranty. Some say that as soon as you break that, you lose your warranty. Others say, no, you don't. Uh, I'm on the side that no, you don't because I've seen MSI comment on it saying you don't because obviously it's intended to be upgraded. There's obviously an extra RAM hole, I'm gonna say, or port for you to install more RAM. So clearly there was intended. Otherwise, they wouldn't have put it there. And there's also a internal hard drive area. And they also give you, with the laptop, a adapter that actually holds down the hard drive that you put in. Um, so they obviously intend you to upgrade it. So I think the factory seal is just something that they just do anyway. Uh, so yeah, uh, once you do these 12 screws, which are round, uh, which if you purchase this laptop, you will see quite clearly. There's 11 around the border, and then you have one in the center. It is just a case of being careful and just removing the plastic case from around the edge. Obviously be mindful of the ports because you don't want to break any of them because that will start getting expensive and you might even just ruin your laptop. So just be careful of that. Uh, tools like obviously a little toolkit that have little, you know, if you change your uh, bike tires, sort of like little levers like that. Uh, almost like a, a guitar pick that you get with little kits. I've got one of these little kits like this. That's got all the screws. You know, I think that was like 11 pounds off Amazon. You know, have a little, little screwdriver kit. Um, stat anti static gloves, but obviously ground yourself if, if not, you know, to something metal, radiator, you know, gas pipe, stuff like that, or a bit of metal do. So, yeah, right, I'm gonna open it up so it saves you the time. Um, I'll see you on the uh, inside. Let's go. And there we have it, guys. So, it was a little bit awkward to get off, it's mainly because of these ports here. Um, obviously you got your, obviously on this you got your two audios where you got your audio and you got your mic, you got your USB ports, you got the USB C ports, and then you got your Ethernet and then you got your lock. So they obviously made it more difficult. Let's get rid of this because obviously you don't want to be bending or breaking anything. And this part, if I push it over a little bit, it is very, it does pull away a little bit because of the screws. But don't worry about it if it's pulling. That's absolutely fine. Just don't make sure you don't pull too much. Uh, and here it is, guys. So this is 
as you open up the GF63, this is what you will see. Um, yeah, so you got your GPU at the corner, you got your SSD, you got your your RAM is in here. Obviously, there's the extra slot. You got your battery pack here, and then this is it will actually be empty, but this is what I have added into it. This is a, a Seagate Fire Cuda two terabyte internal hard drive. Um, underneath, there's as you can see the two pins here. Uh, that's like a bar underneath that you screw into this and then screw into the pad so it's secure there and in the internal. Uh, this is a Kingston 256, I believe. Um, gigabyte SSD. I'm leaving that because I don't really want to mess around with all my Windows things and I've got things on already that I need and I don't want to have to replace it. Um, there's a lot of time and effort that's gone into a lot of stuff. Um, now, if you are doing intensive work, this is how you take out the battery. But for me, I almost risked it with messing around with stuff. Uh, and I actually had, I actually have like a, a, a pad that I put over the top of this just in case you drop any screws or drop anything. But I'm not working with any screws this time. Um, it's literally going to be clipped in, I believe. Um, I hope anyway. Uh, let me just see if I can put a bit of a light on this. Just make it a little bit better for myself. Uh, yeah, so I believe it just... Yeah, so all you do is... These are like two little pins. Now, actually, I'm just going to say this before I say... I'm just going to clarify, I'm not a PC technician. Uh, I never have been. I'm usually pretty good with tech, as in on the software side. I'm usually pretty good with that stuff. But in turn, like messing with technology, soldering, all that business, I've never actually done anything. And this is just pretty much novice stuff. But I thought, you know what? How hard can it be? Uh, and I'm not going to be going like ripping this out or pulling anything else out. I'm just going to be messing with like the absolute basics. I'm probably touching things that I shouldn't be touching. But who goes? So I'm just going to take out the RAM that's currently in there so there's just two pins you put them to the side and it should pop up like so if you can tell and then you just unplug it very simple now this let's have a little look anything on there I don't think I have to take this sticker off at all what it what do we have in there so we've got a Kingston I believe another Kingston and this is does it sound there it's, it's definitely an 8 gigabyte RAM because I know that for a fact maybe that 8 in the top right corner MSI so this is probably just a factory made um, one so basically you just got to line up the notches so obviously clearly the notches don't fit there and it will not fit so then you have to spin that around and you just got to slot it in like that and then push it down so pretty easy so we're going to pull this one out Put that to the side, and now we're going to take out our brand new 32 gigabyte ballistics. Exciting times, right? Right, so let's put that. So, I hope these are the right size because they can be bulkier, they can be bigger, and they are slightly bulkier, um, but the rough the same size. This is a little bit bigger, I guess, but it should be all good. Um, so, let's just hope uh, the ballistics and the good stuff's on the bottom. So slot that in. I'm just going to push that down. So that's one in inset. Same again. I wonder if it's this way. No, it's the ballistics. So we got a bit of ballistics this side. So same again. Just going to slot it in. Push down. Just make sure it's all slotted in. And that is it. How easy is that? Uh, that was even easier than messing with the Seagate. Now, that was a bit more dodgy. Uh, messing around with the with the hard drive just because of the screws you've got to be careful with screws you now usually you got to take off the battery but obviously the only screws that are involved are taking off the case uh, and that is it guys so I'm going to put turn on sorry apologies I'm going to just put the, the cover back on get it all screwed down save you messing around watching that uh, and then we're going to turn it on and we're going to make sure that it's been computed right let's have a look just quick guys so I've just put this on uh, just be careful the ports again and love another little extra warning I don't want you uh, doing anything breaking down uh, obviously as you can see mine has a slight bend in there uh, that was done when I had the um, when I brought the laptop it was a bit of a weird one but it doesn't affect it uh, maybe that's when they opened up and checked it but you don't push down on this side so the one with these the most ports on the side so 
especially to pay attention to the orcs. One with this one and the Ethernet side. Um, this should be on the same side, I presume, on your laptop, especially if it's got the same as this. You need to put it more this side and then push it across so it goes into the gap and then click it in. If you try and push down on it, it will damage the end. So just be careful. Right, let me just screw it in and we're good to go. When you're putting in the screws, just try not to over screw them, like round off the heads. Um, if there's one thing I've done in my uh, time of DIYs, is round off a lot of screw heads. Um, so just, you know, just pretty much just finger tight till, you know, it's almost too much for if you got like two fingers on there and you just can't do anymore. Um, so yeah, just try not to round off the heads. You know, not only is it going to ruin the screw, make it harder for you to get it out next time, because, you know, if you know about round off heads and how to get them out, it's a bit of a dodgy situation if you've got to do it on a computer. Um, you probably won't want to do it. Um, so not only, not only does it ruin the screw, but it will also perhaps ruin the internals of the computer because obviously all these are linked and it does press on some items. So yeah, all right, two seconds. Right guys, so we got it installed. Uh, yes, gaming dads. Check me out on YouTube and Twitch. Um, I stream on Twitch Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. And weekly, mainly on Sunday mornings, Monday mornings, I upload a video, um, which is like tech reviews, or it'll be this video. Actually, I'll, I'll download this in the week, this week, uh, so it'll be nice and fresh. Now, once it's downloaded, as long as there's no errors that popped up, you've pretty much done it right. But just to make sure, if you are on Windows, obviously this Windows system, um, oops, wrong button, we're just going to type in system, or SYS, uh, once you're on the system, sorry, just scroll down and you'll notice install physical memory. And now you will see, or you should see, what you have installed. Now, that used to be 8 gigabytes, so I don't know if you can see that. I'm just going to try and zoom in a touch for you. So um, I can't, I'm not using the software that I usually use for Twitch and stuff. Um, I'm just using my phone. Um, so... There we have. So we've got total physical memory, which is 31.8, but we have installed physical memory, which is 32. It always be, will be less than physical memory. You'll know that. Uh, available physical memory, whatever. But yeah, that is the most important bit. So bang on, you know, we've got it in. And now that should be able to cope with absolutely everything I can do and anything you can do. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. You can give me a like, comment, you know, subscribe to my channel. And I hope you've had a good one. And I hope this has helped. This isn't just for MSI laptops. It's, it could be for any other laptop. It's just installing RAM. So, yeah. I hope you have a good one. And keep on gaming, gamers. Gaming Dad out.